everybody, I am back with another favorites video, although I'm not really sure what to title this one because I already did a February favorites, but that was basically at the beginning of February. So maybe we'll title this March favorites, even though March hasn't really happened yet. Although I'm filming this on March 1st, I'm not sure when it's going to go up. So I'm going to call it March favorites, but I gathered some of my favorite things and I just wanted to share with you guys. The first thing actually I don't have here in front of me, but I wanted to tell you guys about it because I have a new favorite Starbucks drink in case any of you are Starbucks lovers. I have recently, recently, by saying recently, I mean in the past couple of months, been able to start tolerating caffeine again. I haven't been able to since all my colitis and anxiety and everything that happened in the past. If you're a viewer of mine, you've seen all those videos that I haven't been able to tolerate caffeine. And the past few months, I slowly have been integrating it again, and I'm glad because I totally miss caffeine, although I can't do coffee. Coffee is still, with my intestines and everything, coffee is just not a good thing. But tea, tea has been working out, except for I like drinking tea cold. Okay, so my favorite Starbucks drink is the iced raspberry green tea. So basically, it's green tea. Not like the matcha green tea with milk or anything, just green tea and ice. If you order just the regular iced green tea, it comes with liquid cane sugar, but instead of liquid cane sugar, I swap it out for raspberry. And I, I've had it without either before too. I don't mind it, but if I want it sweet, I have it with raspberry. It's delicious. I can get a venti one for super cheap because it's just tea and I'm absolutely loving it. All right, so my next favorite I actually have here in a box to show you guys, but it is bath bombs. And I've been using so many different types of bath bombs. I'm almost exclusively taking baths at this point. <laughs> I kind of feel like an old lady, but I don't know. I really enjoy having a bath at night, and so I barely use my shower anymore. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm really enjoying it. So I love using bath bombs. I love trying out new ones, and I was sent some bath bombs by a lovely lady, lady named Anusha. She's super sweet, and she's actually created her own bath bombs, and I was super intrigued by these ones. Okay, so this is what the box looks like here. It's from Sanctuary Beauty. She named it that because she feels like her bathroom is her sanctuary, and I can very much relate on that. But the reason I really want to try these out is because they're all natural. There are no artificial dyes, colors, glitters, anything like that, and they're also infused with essential oils, and you guys know I love my essential oils, so I had to try them out. So when you open it up, I've used one already. It took all my willpower not to use more of these until I filmed this video, but I held off. My kids do. My kids keep saying, when can I have one? Because I promised that they could have one. So the one I used first was called Heal Citrus and Clove. Ooh, we don't want to dump things out, but it was an orangey type one. And these smell so amazing because, like I said, they're infused with essential oils. This one here is Energize, it's ginger and lemon. Then we have Uplift, which is orange and neroli. I don't know if I'm saying that right. We have Breathe, which is eucalyptus. That might be nice if you're sick. Escape, which is Hawaiian jasmine. It's probably what I'll use next. And then we have Balance, which is lavender, which would also be a really good one before bed. I'm just seeing in her email here that the only ingredients are essential oils, salts, and sunflower oil. So it's totally natural. The thing I really liked about them is when they drop in the bath, they fizz like crazy. If I can get a video of it, remember to take a video of it, I'll show you. But they fizz and they spin and it just looks so beautiful. And then the scent from the essential oil is awesome. I love the concept of different bath bombs based on your needs, like there was different blends. So I absolutely loved it. It made it a very relaxing bath. Anyways, her products are sold on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below in case you want to check it out and I will leave all the links to anything I talk about in this video down below as well. All right, next up, I always try and include something food wise that I'm loving and this month, since I came back, if you guys know, I was in the Caribbean a week and a half ago on a cruise. It was wonderful. I loved it. The food options for me were not the greatest. I had higher expectations, I guess, and I just they weren't met, but that's okay. Since I came back, I have been really loving making salads with cucumber. I don't eat lettuce. I know I'm strange, but I love cucumber and tomato and avocado and olives, and I put cashew cheese in it, but I've been loving this brand of salad dressings. It's simply natural. Not all of them are gluten-free. I do recall seeing some that weren't. This one here, oh, I showed you the French side, sorry. What it looks like so they're organic this is the roasted red pepper i have not tried this one yet so i can't speak for this one but i have tried the sweet onion and the garlic and i love them they are amazing they just make your salad as far as wigs and toppers i'm currently wearing my current favorite this is a full wig i said i'm going to keep it for special occasions you can't even see the bottom of it there you go there's some curls down there but i decided to put it on for this video because i love it so much i just posted a review on it it's from uniwigs it's a full wig but it's a beautiful ombre 
down to like a lighter blonde at the bottom. It's real human hair and I'll link it down below if you want to check it out because I love this wig. Okay, bathing suits. <laughs> I did not realize that I already had quite a few bathing suits for one, but I decided to go bathing suit shopping for the cruise um, because I didn't check on how many bathing suits I have. So now my bathing suit drawer is overflowing and I brought so many bathing suits on the cruise, but I just wanted to have options. But I found a website, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it, but it's called Cupshe. It's pretty inexpensive for bathing suits and I decided to give it a chance, try it out. I really wanted one pieces, like I think they're called monokinis. They're one pieces, but they have cutouts, so they kind of look like a two piece at the same time, but they're a one piece. Wanted to try them out. I ordered a bunch of them. Um, some of them didn't work out just because I have a long torso, so it didn't really work out, but some of them did, and I love them. And the ones that didn't work out, they gave me a credit. I could have returned it to, but they gave me a credit, and I ordered some other pieces as well. So if you're looking for inexpensive bathing suits, check out Cupshe. I'll show you some of them, although it's kind of hard to show you how some of these suits work, but that's okay. So this one, you tie it like a halter up here. Then here in the middle, it crisscrosses, if that makes sense, and then there's the bottoms. So it's a one piece, but this whole like side area here is exposed, and it was really, really comfortable. It was long enough for my torso. This one here is super cute. I don't even think I took the tags off it yet, because I didn't wear it on the cruise. I should have, but I didn't. Oh, I need to put that strap back in, but that's what it looks like there. And then there's the bottom. It's not usually something I go for, but it's quite flattering on. So I tried that one. And then here's the ones I just grabbed these. I have more, but I didn't want to bring them all in this video. That came in the order that I did with the credit. So, oh gosh, this one's hard to show you, but you get the idea. Like your boobs are up here. It's a halter top. And then there's like these strands down the side. So it's kind of opposite as the other one. And then it has high-waisted bottoms. And then... We have these bottoms here. I really like the high-waisted bottoms, but it has, has little cutouts on it. I can't remember what that one goes with. That goes with something, but I clearly didn't grab it. We have this cute little top here, which I haven't actually tried that on yet, so I don't know if that's going to work out for me, but it came with these bottoms here. I just have... I have a bunch, and a bunch of them that I wore are in the drawer back there too. So, cup sheet, I've been happy with it. I mean, if you have the standard size torso I think you'll be fine with most of them they're good quality and they're cheap okay so this next one is a pricier item my husband actually surprised and bought them for me for my birthday as my birthday was February 18th I was not expecting it at all I didn't like I thought they were a cool idea but I would never have splurged the money on these myself but I'm glad that he did they are uh, Apple AirPods so they are wireless headphones I spend a lot of time working on my computer not just for YouTube but for LuLaRoe as well I'm always on my computer and I always need headphones and I am terrible with cords and I get them wrapped up and tangled and it's just awful and there are no cords on these so they're awesome they charge in their own case which is great but what I really like is that if I'm listening to something in my ear but I need to like fold laundry or whatever I can walk away from my laptop sorry my camera died but I think I was saying that I like that I can walk away from my laptop and do other things or my phone whatever I'm listening to things on and it's still in my ear so yes they're an investment piece but they're still a favorite for March okay what else did I have my heating blanket I don't feel like I need to bring it over here because I'm sure you guys know what a heating blanket is like an electric blanket I don't know and I can't remember if I talked about this in my last video I don't feel like I did but I don't know why I haven't had one my whole life. I am such a cold person. I'm constantly cold. I live in Canada. It's cold. I mean, it's not as cold as the rest of Canada, but it's still cold. And a heating blanket, someone suggested one to me, and it's been amazing. It is in my bed. I love it. I'm constantly warm. I wish I had one all over the house. Maybe, I feel like I did talk about this. Maybe I did. But heating blanket, electric one, amazing. Okay, tokens. Ugh. I thought I mentioned some things about my kids. So bought these they're just poker chips got them at the dollar store thought it would work doesn't have to be poker chips but we have a new like kind of reward system I guess in our house we've experimented with so many different charts and rewards and things like that and this one seems to be working well so I thought I would let you know about it basically they earn a token and they have a little box with their name on it for anything like chore wise that they do if I tell them to do something I tell them it's worth one token, they get a token, they put it in their box. When they get to 10 tokens, they get to purchase something. So my kids are constantly asking me for things. Like, it doesn't matter how many times I buy them things, they want more. And I don't want them to think that that's how life works. And we don't have the money for that. Like, who can just constantly buy their kids things? So I want them to work for it, obviously. Um, but they kind of like this idea better than these actually having a money value. 
I don't know, it's more incentive to them because then what they buy within reason, <laughs> within reason, like I'm talking cheaper things, but they don't have to worry so much about the exact price tag. It's more of a token thing. Like I will buy you whatever you wanted from the dollar store, whatever is the thing that you, you really needed, I'll buy you if you make it to 10 tokens. But the other point, part of this is if they are misbehaving and they lose a privilege or they lose their iPad or they lose a toy or whatever it is that they lose, in order to get that back, it used to be like a time thing, like you've lost your iPad for two days or whatever, right? Um, they have to earn it back. So they have to do 10 tokens in order to get that thing back. So they're learning that it's not worth it to get in trouble essentially because then their tokens are going towards earning things back instead of building them up to purchase something. So I just thought I'd share with you guys. I know a lot of you are moms and it seems to be working out well in our household up to this point. So I thought I'd share. And then some of their favorites, rocks. Riley is really into rocks and gems and crystals and all things like that. She's built in quite the collection. Um, we just got from like the, some from the Scholastic Order at school as well and she's just really really into it. She's into anything science related and she loves slime. That girl cannot have enough slime and I'm not a huge fan of slime. I'm trying to let it go but I'm being honest I'm not a huge fan of slime. Love slime. Kayla loves slime as well. Kayla still loves Lego. Always has. Probably always will. Cassidy and Kayla are very similar that way. The two of them will play Lego forever. They'll get mad at each other if they take each other's pieces but both of them really 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 love Lego. Books. Books are becoming a big thing with Kayla because she's reading better and better every day and so she's understanding that books can be really really entertaining which I love because I want her to have a love for books. I never really did. Um, I don't know why I just didn't and I would love for her to have a love for books my husband has a love for books so I'm happy for her about that but yeah I think that's it I hope I got to all my favorites I hope you guys enjoyed I will leave all links down below and thank you so much for watching bye